why? Why? That'd be the main thing, like, why? Why? Because a lot of my homies that is dead, like, from the outside looking in, you might just think I'm just a demonic person or a bad person, where in reality, it's had hard as big as this world. You know what I'm saying? Did what they supposed to do. Like, duck. Duck wasn't perfect, but duck wasn't like me. He took care of his kids. He spent time. He moved. You know what I'm saying? But it's just that. That Chicago, man. That Chicago got a dark cloud over it. And it's, that's fucked up, man. I moved. I moved to make a way opportunity to show. Like, I had that big brother. I had Brick out here when Brick went back and, and got murdered in cold blood. You know what I'm saying? In broad daylight. Yeah. You know, that type of shit me up. Because before he left, he like, Man, gee, I feel like I'm about to kill somebody or somebody gonna kill me. And two days later, he dead. Like, that shit. You know, that type of shit repeating your head over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Just... You know, seeing duck on the ground like that. Cash on the ground like that. You know what I'm saying? Losing shrimp, skeezy. Veil, hell veil, murdering cold blood on video on the stove. Like, you know. That's with a nigga every day, bro. And I'm glad you're being transparent about that because, you know, sometimes these things get played out, especially in a lot of the online documentaries and things like that, and a lot of the videos and whatnot, as entertainment. But you know what I'm saying? It, it lets people know you saying it like that. Like, Yo, these are real people. You feel me? This ain't no entertainment, man. For these young niggas that's jumping off the porch and all that, man, go another route, man. Do something different, man, because it hit different when my brothers hit you. It hit different. It ain't going to be everybody going to get lucky either. Some niggas hit one time. My best friend, Skeezy, rest in peace. Just hit one time. I was 22. I was old with You know what I'm saying? And that was another good nigga. Like, damn. Boy, like, folks ain't even do nothing to nobody. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that type of shit be worse. Like, I just told my brother, like, my oldest brother, like, niggas in the hood, like, everybody, we was the light-skinned bad boys. My Being honest, gang, we had never think these shrimp and them folk, we had thought y'all would be gone, gang. You know how that shit make you feel, though? My yeah, tell you, like, Nigga, I thought you would be dead, basically. Like, nigga, what? Like, what the f***? I'm out here moving that bad or that sloppy or that f***ed up that you would thought, like, you, no, it ain't going to be him. Like, you even, that's in your head to even say, fix your mouth to even say something like that. You would have thought that I'd be, you know what I'm saying? And and I think from that point, like, you know, I always move different. I, I done f***ed up and then been in prison, all shot, all type of shit, but... I move strategically. I I think before I react in a lot of situations. I really pay attention to signs. If something tell me don't go or shit like that, so you know I think that's why. You know I don't know why God you know bless bless me to have you know keep me around. But obviously I got a purpose. I got something going on that He need me here. But yeah, man, I'm still coping. Going through it, you know. Family, my mama having real issues with her life. A lot of shit, man, that like niggas don't be doing. They be peaches and cream and smells and rainbows and ponies and shit. On the internet, my thing just life is just beautiful, man. But niggas don't know what a nigga been through. Niggas don't know what a nigga go through. Niggas don't know. They don't know, man. Niggas don't know, bro. This shit just look good for the internet, bro. But niggas don't know, man. Niggas is really hurt. A lot of niggas hurt, bro. I know the ops hurt. Niggas done lost blood, brothers, everything, bro. Niggas is f***ed up, G. Nah, and that's, I, I get it. No, I, I get that 100%, man. It's just sometimes people need to hear that take. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. A lot of people don't get it. Niggas need to show more love. Niggas need no, no home. Some niggas need hugs, man. Niggas need, you know something? You need to feel that. Like Sometimes, man. Motherfuckers out here just living life and they, you know, some motherfuckers ain't got purpose. Some people just living just to live. They don't know. They don't know where they're going to be at. They don't have dreams of 
Well, I'm going to be at it in 10 years. You probably got to ask the nigga where you going to be at it in 10 days. And that's sad, man. And, and, and what's crazy is it seems like the cycle continues because recently, and uh, just today, there was a news story about, and I'm not sure if you're familiar with this, there's a guy, his name is Just Blow, and he's 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 one of Lil Dirk's artists or whatnot, right? Dude just got sentenced to 18 years, man. Sad. Lil Dirk, Lil Dirk and them, you know, no disrespect, but they are really on top of the hip-hop thing right now, right? Imagine having to cut all that out and you're actually having that future ahead of you, and you kind of said this with the King Von situation, and now you're about to go sit down for 18 years? Goofy. Goofy, bro. Ain't no if, ands, or but. All that shit took place, whatever happened in the midst of Von blowing up, everything going on. But that's how you, you know, niggas, some niggas just can't depend on the next pocket or whatever, or some niggas just, that's just them. Now look, you feel me and that bitch cooked for some, for a long time, man. Time you get out, man, you be an old 40, 50 something. Man, this shit ain't gonna be the same, man. The world getting worse and worse, man. This shit getting bad, bad. These kids, everything, this new generation, it's not. They don't listen. They don't. <laughs> they bad. They want to kill people. Then you know, that's what more so the shit that made me start like, damn. Because it was like, damn, my my sons and them, they seeing this shit now. They wanna, you know, they think that shit cool. In reality, that shit ain't cool. A lot of a lot of shit I did because. Of, I had no choice. I was in poverty. I people ain't doing nothing for me. They, you know, I gotta figure this shit out. But yeah, and I, I'm hoping people get that too when they hear that because you had to make a way. So it's a little different than somebody seeing the lessons that are involved in that and still not taking them in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, niggas gotta see that man. I done been through it all, bro. I'm going to jail. I was 10 years old. You know what I'm saying? Shot on the block, everything ain't like niggas be thinking this shit just happened overnight. Like I'm still not in no position where I'm I'm straight. I'm alright, but I'm not nowhere near where I want to be at in life. At the end of the day, that's what it's about, man. Getting out the trenches, you know, doing something different, you know, showing your kids, being a positive role model to them all. Um, just showing off something different. You know what I'm saying? Give them a opportunity that my never gave me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't had no opportunity. I was on the block. Like, I love the block. You know what I'm saying? And that's all I cared about. Seven crack, playing with pipes on the block. I'm on 7, 3rd, and 8 of Man, nigga probably wake up on and brush his teeth, nigga, and just run outside, nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's how infatuated the was with the hood. But at the old I got, like, that shit played out. That shit watered down. That shit ain't about nothing. 